Hi guys, it's Kirsty here from Kirsty TV. I am here with my guest today, Jasmine. Hi Kirsty, it's a pleasure to be here in Hawaii with you. I know, we are having such an amazing time. We're down here on the big island celebrating the new year. Ah! <laughs> so we have just been having an amazing time together. Jasmine has an inspirational blog. I met her through the Oprah and Ona community. The blog is called Carpe diem with Jasmine, which means seize the day. Seize the day. And it's one of my favorite quotes as well. I know that it's something that you've loved for a really long time. When did you decide, how did Carpe diem come about? You know, it came in my life when I was a senior in high school, and I think I read something by Horace. It's a Horace quote. Um, and I was like, seize the day. That's what I'm going to do. And I've been saying it on my voicemail for, I won't say how many years, but for many, 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 many years. I love it. So what is, um, we're going to talk about seizing the year. What do you think are a couple of things that people need to do if they're really passionate about seizing the moment in the day yeah I, you know I think the thing about seizing the day for me is really about being uh, mindful or being present and being appreciative uh, most people think about seizing the day as having to do something really grandiose like skydiving or coming here to Hawaii which is wonderful that's fun too. right it's fun and I'm not saying that's that's not great but I think you can do that in your everyday life like one of the things that I love to do it reminds me of my childhood is I love to go um, to Hardee's and get a butter biscuit with strawberry jelly because it's like, mm, this is so good, and it really makes uh, makes me tick. And I, I started doing a little challenge on what was my seize the day moment, because really, again, it's about being present, mindful in your everyday life, and being appreciative of what you have, what's around us. Because I mean, there's so much beauty, so many blessings, so much abundance in the world, but because we're always busy multitasking, we don't see it and we can't yeah. take it. Well, and on an everyday basis, right. I mean, everywhere there's a sunset, there's a sunrise. You know, yeah. today I did yoga. There's so many different ways, as you said. It there's your have favorite to be. song that comes on the radio, and yeah. you're like, oh, oh my yeah. god, yeah. Put it on a playlist. Exactly. So yeah, it doesn't have to be grandiose. And then the other thing you talk a lot about is appreciation. Yeah, you know, so one of the things I say, um, and I think. Um, Oprah said it, uh, the lady who wrote Simple Abundance, that there's so much power in gratitude, but I just say appreciation because, I mean, it's so easy to be a complainer. I mean, I know I will send food back if it's not right, but then I think about it, wait a minute, someone else is not even having this experience where they're able to come out to eat or someone else can't even taste. There was a lady, I complain about, you know, my weight and I want to deal with it, but I love to eat. And I saw this lady on the doctors the other day and she had throat cancer and she can't even eat anymore. She's on a feeding tube and she said her goal one day is to be able to eat pureed foods again. So now sometimes when I'm eating and I'm like, I'm eating this for her. I don't yeah. even remember her name, but her story touched me. I mean, so in everything that we have in our life, we can be appreciative. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And I, I think you're right. I think we forget the smallest of things. We take them for granted. Yeah. Recently, they can all go in the blink of an eye. Yeah. Recently, I did um, what was called the four liter challenge. I had to live on four liters of water for a day. And it made me appreciate so much water. We take it for granted that we can have a shower and that we can put the kitchen sink on and we can cook a full meal. So mindfulness and appreciation, yes. I love them. They're great ways to seize the day. So what about seizing the year? You know, it's a new year and it's so exciting. So I think that we should all think about, I know some people make New Year's resolutions. I really don't make New Year's resolutions at the beginning of the calendar year. I um, do a word of the year. My word of the year for this year it happens to be better. Last year, my word of the year was unlimited. And I just kind of meditate and move in this word. And I think, you know, you know, when I'm down, I could say, this is going to be better. Like last year with Unlimited, I'm like, there's unlimited opportunity. When I was tired, I'm like, I have unlimited energy. I live in Minneapolis. There's unlimited heat. So it really was about a mindset. And that's really what the word of the year for me is about. Shifting your mind and using that one word to kind of get you in that paradigm you need to move forward. I love that. Well, Jasmine has inspired me to have my own word this year. I'm going to have naked. I say naked, but I love how you say it. Say it. Say it. I say naked. 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 So for all the Aussies out there, you'll have a laugh with me. So um, naked for me is about being real, about being raw, about being vulnerable and open. So what is your word going to be? I hope that you guys will seize the day and pick a word. And so in terms of you, you were laid off a couple of years ago and you, during the global financial crisis, there are a lot of people who were out of work or have had to make transitions or perhaps this year at the start of 2014 there's somebody out there who's thinking I'd love this year to be the year that I follow my passion and follow my dream 
what would be the three things that you have learned on this journey that you wish you'd known before that you would love to share with our viewers? You know, I heard, you know, Nike said it first. I heard Steve McQueen say it a month ago, but just do it. I mean, get out there and just do it. I would say um, be fearless and be courageous because you are going to have to step out and be a little courageous and fearless. And then the thirdly and the most important thing is don't listen to the naysayers. I mean, this is what you're doing for yourself. There will always be the talking heads, there will always be the critics, but when you succeed, they'll be the people that become your biggest cheerleaders. So again, just to summarize, just do it, be fearless, courageous, and don't listen to what everybody has to say. I love it. I love how she's got a little summary yeah. there. So Jasmine, um, any final words? What would you love people to know about seizing the year? You know, that you can do it and that you can do it um, every day, every minute, every hour, and it's so easy. And I would just say, just start taking in the beauty, taking in the goodness, taking in the richness, taking in the blessings that are in your life, in your family's life, in, the, in the, your community, in the world, and, and let's be a little bit more appreciative. Well, I am so grateful and appreciative yeah. to you and to Oprah for yeah. putting us all together through Twitter. Too. That's an, yeah. another amazing connection made online. The social media community. It is. So thank you all for listening and thank you, Jasmine, for sharing those thank tips with us. Thank you for having us. me. So if you're out there, the two things that you can do to seize the day and seize the year is to be mindful. Really think about those small things every day and pay attention and be appreciative and have some gratitude today. I love you all and I'll see you next week on Kirsty. TV. Bye.